Am I in frame? Am I in frame? I think so. What up, dogs? It's J Dog and Asian, and I know I haven't been here in a little while. Um, today, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how YouTube has changed in terms of creators with disabilities. I've been on the platform since 2007, and I uploaded my first video in 2007. However, my first video wasn't disability related at all, whatsoever. Actually, it was a video of my university, I was a freshman at the time, <laughs> my undergrad um, marching band, their drumline, doing a cadence. So that was my very first video on my other channel. But in terms of creators with disabilities, and especially creators who are blind and visually impaired, I couldn't find anyone back in 2007. I guess I was prompted to make this video because I saw uh, Molly's channel, Molly Burke's channel, go uh, it doubled in size based on her collab with Casey Neistat, and it just goes to show how incredible the community has gr like the community has grown so much. Before it was very small. Um, I remember back in 2007, I wanted to find YouTubers, you know, blind and visually impaired YouTubers, and it was next to impossible. Um, actually, funny enough, uh, I'm friends with one of the very first uh, YouTubers that I saw on the platform, um, and that channel is called JLS1115, um, and they kind of prompted me, uh, not like personally to make a video, but they, you know, just the fact that they had videos out there of themselves sharing their experience kind of inspired me to make my own videos, and I know that even still to this day, ten years later, I, wow, that's crazy that I've been on YouTube for ten years. I mean, yeah, I'm small and everything, creator size, like, you know, channel size wise, but, like, wow, that just blows my mind. I actually reached out to them and talked to them a little bit about their YouTube experience. And I, this is in regards to GLS 115, and uh, I just really thought it was kind of neat that we got to reconnect on social media. Um, and then fast forward to today, and there are so many blind and visually impaired and, you know, other creators with disabilities. Um, I love that. I love that. Going from a platform where people wanted to share, you know, like, you had one or two creators willing to share, to a platform of so many different people willing to speak about their experience. And I also wanted to congratulate Molly Burke for, you know, surpassing 100k on her channel. That's freaking awesome, Molly. That's, I just, it's awesome how I grew overnight. I'm really super happy for you. This brings me back to VidCon when I talked to someone. It was pretty much after one of the panels that was centered around disability. This person said that there are a lot of blind creators and that they should allow you know, other creators to speak about their experience on the panels. So that goes to show that in the blind community alone, we have grown. We have grown from, yeah, myself who has like a little, like a little over a hundred subscribers. I think it's 150 now. Hi, new guys, new gals, new bi non-binary folks. So speaking of like new subscribers, hello, nice to meet you. I'm Jdog and Asian. I'm excited to continue making content and um, I'm going to be doing something pretty exciting. But like I said, our community has grown so much. And the community that I happen to identify with is, you know, the Asian American community. It just goes to show that there are so many blind and visually impaired folks on this platform now. And that just blows my mind. There are people who are like, how do you do this? How do you do that? You just do it. You find avenues to speak to your audience and interact with them in a way that, you know, everyone can enjoy. And I think that's why it's so cool that now we have creators like, you know, JD and Molly Burke and um, Tommy Edison. I also know of several guide dog handlers who are on the platform and they speak about their experience. 
So yeah, you're right, person who kind of, you know, confronted me about the population, about overrepresentation of the blind population on the platform. But you know what? That's not something that I'm gonna apologize for. Because when I was starting on this platform back in 2007, there was next to no one. And I really looked up to those two creators that I found that talked about visual impairment and, you know, disability and blindness openly. But now there are more of us, there are more people that we can connect with, and that's freaking incredible. I'm sorry that, actually no. I was gonna apologize that there aren't more people speaking about the experiences, but I'm not going to because there, I shouldn't have to. I'm proud that there are blind and visually impaired creators on this platform. I'm proud that we find avenues to edit our videos and to work it out to where we can do this independently. I don't know where I was going with this video. I just knew that I wanted to sit down and talk about just how much this platform has changed and how much disability is really being discussed. If Casey Neistat can highlight, you know, just one person, it sheds light on the entire community. Yeah, that's, that's all the things and stuff that I want to talk about. I think I made sense. Next video, you know, I already recorded this video once, but in the next video, I'm going to be tackling, ta-da, nuclear, ramen noodles and i'm going to be answering a question sent to me by jd which i'm super excited about and it'll be kind of like whoa personal type things not that this channel isn't already about something personal anyway thanks so much for joining me for this video and i will talk to you all later please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell for more videos